The prehistoric planet Tyrannosaurus rex is one of the best and most accurate Tyrannosaurus reconstructions. In fact, it's probably the most accurate Tyrannosaurus reconstruction in any dinosaur documentary. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about everything good and bad about the prehistoric planet T-Rex. I'll first start with the bad parts, or the inaccurate things, then I'll start with all the good parts, or the accurate things. The head is shrink-wrapped. As you can see here, you can see the venestre from the skull. This detail isn't super noticeable, and it's not too bad. The rest of the body is fine, just the head is a little shrink-wrapped. Next is the coloration of the crests. Now while the crests on both the adult female and male rexes are perfectly fine, it's just the coloration on the males. The male's crests are not colored at all, they're just completely white, when they should be colored like in this image right here. Next is the amount of feathering. Now while the adult rexes have a sparse coating of feathers, which is correct, I personally think that the coating of feathers is too light. I kind of wish the coating of feathers on the adult rexes looked like this. Now that we're done with all the bad parts, let's move on to the good parts. And the first detail I want to say that's good is how stocky the adult rexes are. Now while the juveniles are very thin, which is accurate, the adult T-rexes are very fat and stocky, which is accurate as T-rex was a large animal and would have been stocky in real life. Plus we have evidence of them being stocky because of the gastralia, if I'm correct? Or the belly ribs that are on some sprex specimens, like Sue. Next is the skin. The T-Rex is covered in lots of tiny, smooth scales, which from far away, look like smooth skin. It's also covered in a sparse coating of feathers, which is pretty hard to see unless you zoom in. The juveniles are fully feathered, unlike their adult counterparts. Next is the fact that the Rexes have lips. Now yes, the T-Rex did have lips. In fact, most to all theropods had lips. There's actually evidence for Tyrannosaurus having having lips, because there's the little dots on the T-Rex's jaws, which would have been the connecting points for lips. Also, theropods actually needed lips, so their teeth wouldn't be ruined by bacteria. T-Rex is also mentioned to have a really good sense of smell, which is accurate as T-Rex had one of the biggest olfactory bulbs in the animal kingdom. I'm pretty sure I said that incorrectly. Next is the eyes. Eyes are accurately placed in the front of the head, giving it binocular vision. And I'm pretty sure that it's mentioned or shown t that T-Rex had a really good had a really good vision. Also, the T-Rex is given round bird-like pupils with orange eyes and black round pupils. Next is shown how T-Rex is able to swim. Yes, T-Rex can swim. Even if you jumped into water and tried to swim away, the Rex would still chase you. There's actual evidence of T-Rex being able to swim, not just because large animals like elephants can swim, but also because there's fossilized sand, I believe, which shows T-Rex claw marks while it's swimming. Next is the hands. The hands are in the correct hand position, making it look like it's gonna clap. It also has accurately two fingers, with one of the fingers being longer than the other. Also, the arms are pr- also, one cool detail about the arms is that the arms have muscle, and they aren't just wimpy or pathetic. Tyrannosaurus's arms may have been small, but they were very strong, able to carry at least 400 pounds. And although this is a really cool fact, this was never emulated in the documentary. Correct me if I'm wrong. Speaking of strength, the T-Rex in the documentary is shown being able to flip over a dead sea turtle to get to its soft underbelly. This is very much plausible, that T-Rex was actually a very strong animal. It already has strong arms, so why not being a strong animal? The T-Rex is actually shown to have sexual dimorphism, or having a gender difference. This is actually a pretty cool concept for T-Rex, and it's actually plausible, as its two modern-day relatives, chickens and ostriches, do have sexual dimorphism in the species. So it is possible that T-Rex did have sexual dimorphism. And the sexual dimorphism in the series has it with the males having bigger crests and having a thinner body, and the females having smaller crests and a much stockier body.